Hello friends and uh, welcome to my new episode. Uh, the Oscars have just happened and uh, despite the fact that a lot of non-film related issues or a particular issue has dominated the headline, I thought uh, of focusing on some of the contents uh, of uh, the Academy Awards this year. Overall, this is again a very personal view, but overall I felt the quality of films uh, which were nominated uh, for the Oscars was, I think, much richer and better than the last few years. I think some really, really good uh, films were nominated this year and the competition was very tough. Uh, kudos to the winners. Congratulations to all the winners of the Oscars. But, uh, you know, one particular category and one particular nomination interested me a lot and which was the nomination of an Indian documentary in uh, the category of the best documentary uh, film made and uh, the documentary I'm talking about is uh, Shushmit Kosh and Rintu Thomas's wonderful Writing with Fire. Now, Writing with Fire uh, is a documentary which I don't know how many people have seen in India because it's not very uh, readily available. Uh, let me just uh, warn you in advance that it's not there on any of the OTTs that I know of. I uh, was lucky enough to get a copy from a friend and uh, I saw it when I, when I first heard that this was uh, nominated uh, for Best Documentary. Uh, and it was it was India's uh, selection which was sent. And uh, I saw the documentary and uh, I must say I was absolutely bowled over by uh, what I saw. Uh, before I give you my views on the documentary, I just like to quote uh, a line written about the documentary by uh, a film a critic, a film writer who I greatly admire, and that is Rahul Desai. And Rahul Desai goes on to say, writing with fire is to journalism what dignity is to democracy. I think, I think uh, that one line sums up the documentary for me. It's, it's the most apt line I have read you, you know, to use uh, to uh, describe what the documentary really is about. It is a fabulous piece of uh, filmmaking, according to me. And uh, it's, uh, it, uh, it charts the journey of uh, three uh, Dalit women who work for India's uh, only newspaper, uh, which is uh, exclusively run by Dalit women, uh, called Khabar Leheria. And uh, it charts the journey of uh, this elder journalist, Meera Devi, along with uh, two younger uh, journalists who are also part of this journey, Sham Kali and uh, Sunita. And uh, it just, uh, you know, I, I, I'd, I'd like to make one thing very clear before uh, I talk a little more about the documentary that, uh, you know, there, there should not be any political uh, bias for or against. Uh, if you really want to uh, make a very objective uh, analysis of the documentary. Because to me, uh, the documentary transcends uh, all political divide and political opinions. It's, it's more about uh, it's more about breaking uh, patriarchy that uh, is so prominent uh, in every aspect of Indian society. It's more about breaking those uh, walls of patriarchy uh, rather than uh, having uh, political affiliations and uh, political points of view. So I'd like to keep that aside uh, in my analysis of uh, this wonderful documentary. To me, uh, what really stands out is uh, how uh, women who are, uh, you know, they are, they are absolutely empowered and spunky and, uh, you know, real go-getters, 
how they wade through uh, bureaucracy, how they wade through uh, gender bias, and how they wade through absolute, uh, absolutely uh, cringeworthy uh, male domination, and uh, go about their work. You know, I think I think what this documentary tries to show and what this documentary tries to tell us is uh, as much uh, as the news that they're covering or the stories that they're breaking, their journey itself is a story as well. And uh, that's, that's the most powerful thing of the documentary, that uh, each of these three women, whether it is the, it is the, matured and seasoned and uh, you know cool and calm Meera Devi or the spunky uh, Sunita who's not going to take uh, who's going to leave no stone unturned to get her story her way or uh, you know the single mother Shyamkali you know their determination their grit and their desire to uh, present the truth is is absolutely fascinating uh, i know uh, the the media they work for uh, khabar leharia has distanced itself from uh, the documentary saying that only uh, one political party has been shown or targeted uh, in the course of making this documentary and it really doesn't give a complete picture of uh, what Khabar Leheria is all about. So which is why I said I really don't want to get into the politics of the thing but uh, you know as a statement as a social comment on uh, women trying to smash down the walls of uh, patriarchy in society writing uh, with fire is absolutely magnificent it uh, it makes you cheer for the women it makes you uh, clap in uh, in joy it makes you really cringe at times and uh, it just shows you what a scary world uh, this is uh, especially for women in india you know as uh, the three uh, ladies go on the on the road go on their journeys to cover stories you just you just realize and respect uh, how difficult their job is and uh, the kind of ordeals they have to face whilst uh, doing their job writing with fire is uh, is a very uh, honest and a very brave attempt at uh, highlighting some of the struggles, some of the fights, some of the, some of the challenges that uh, marginalized uh, people uh, face in society, in our country. It gives you uh, a side of our country which we usually don't like talking about or usually we want to ignore. So be prepared for that uh, if you uh, decide to watch the documentary but if you do you will be watching something uh, groundbreaking and something absolutely fabulous uh, as i said it's difficult to get uh, writing with fire online it's you know you'll have to rely on someone giving you a good print of the documentary to view it i do hope it gets an ott release soon now that uh, you know it has been in the news thanks to the oscar nominations but uh it it is a fabulous piece of uh, documentary and kudos to uh rintu thomas and shushmit kosh for giving us such a wonderful uh, documentary to view as i said i do hope it's uh, available soon on a wider platform for more people to see i'm sure uh you know, like a lot of uh, good work, it uh, will have polarized opinions. But as I said, the, the trick for me was to keep the politics out of it and just view it as a social commentary. And uh, it is 
it is absolutely brilliant. It is absolutely fabulous in that uh, aspect. So, uh, according to me, a must watch. Do try and get hold of a copy of the documentary and watch Writing with Fire. It'll make you proud to be an Indian, to see what India is striving to be. That's all for this uh, episode and until the next time, bye for now.